Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Today I'm going to do a video that requires me to be a man, do things I don't want to do. I'm going to say the truth because I love you. This video is entitled the most honest words you've ever heard to black people of humanity. First off, your color is beautiful. Some of you have been beguiled by the serpent, the devil, into hating your own color and persecuting people for telling you that you're black. And black is beautiful. It's not more or less beautiful. The white, you know, the most people are not all the way black and all the way white. The red's beautiful. The yellow's beautiful. But you're black. People in Africa are not African Africans. Race does not equal migration. If you are an American, you're not an African American. You're black. Your race is the same as somebody whose roots may come from Africa, but they live in Greenland. They're not an African Greenlander. By definition, they're the same race as you. Therefore, the, the label's the same. You move to China, you don't become an African-American Chinese. You're black and always were. You don't become an anything. You were black. Or you're Asian, or you're white, or you're aboriginal. It is ridiculous and illogical in persecuting somebody for telling them that you're not, you mean African-American. No, I mean black. My race is not European-American. I am not Italian, Swedish, American, moved to Kansas City, to Texas, to back. That's silly. My race is white. And that's beautiful. And your race is black. And that's beautiful. Period. Now, black pride is not noble and white pride is racist. Pride is a sin. Honor, for, love for your culture, perfect. Great. Not an idolatrous, not defining yourself as Christians by the flesh, but loving your culture, your people, no problem, beautiful. I study African culture. I think it's fascinating. I am Africa, the individual. You say, well, how is that possible? You're white. I am the planet, and the planet is named Lunyon. This is not a joke. I'm not the least bit arrogant. I represent the restoration by God's grace. So in that sense, I'm China, I'm Russia, I'm America, and I'm Israel. This is not me being arrogant. I function as God's chosen vessel. The second Moses, I have many titles. You need to get over myself, because I'm not the least bit arrogant by telling you this. This is the position that God's called me to be in, and I'm offering love to anybody who's black on planet Earth, but not because you're black, and that's the whole point. Folks, if a white man and a white and a black guy, they get in an argument on TV. If the black guy punches the white guy, a, a billion white people do not jump inside that man and inside our heads and then persecute the black guy and race riot because it must have been about being white. That's silly. Now, there are certainly whites with collectivist consciousness, the hive mind, and there are blacks with individualist consciousness. But most blacks are trained, told, that you jump inside that black man, and that he is all 500 million of us. Now, persecute the white guy if the white guy beats down the black guy, when you never any reason to believe that it had anything to do with race whatsoever. And that's the hive mind of the devil, and I'm telling you that because I love you, and I don't want you to be deceived, because the devil wants us to all be rioting and hating, bashing each other's brains in, thinking this is going to get on whitey, you know, and it's like, whitey's kind of tacky, that's kind of, but blacky? You know, like, that would be tacky, wouldn't it? We're individuals. Folks, I'm here to tell you that most black people have been trained with slavery, thinking that it's liberation. If white people, every time I saw a white person, I told him, brother, sister, struggle. I would be so stressed out, I can't tell you. Most white people would want to jump off a bridge if every time they saw a white person, it's like, you're a family member now? You don't even know the, all these people's names. 500 million black people, 1 billion whites, you'll never even meet their name. How can you be family with someone you don't even know their name? Now, through Jesus, sure. But that is a burden. That is a spiritual noose you're tying and have been taught to tie around your neck, which is the burden of others. In that sense, you do need to Atlas shrug it. You're just a person. I'm just a person. I can't live with a billion white people conceptually in my brain as brother and sister and struggle. That's the burden in your conscience. Let it go. You don't owe anybody anything. If you, that you meet somebody who happens to be black, beautiful. You don't have to be antisocial to say, well, I don't know you. They don't know you either. Maybe you do love them. Maybe they're going to be your brother or sister, but not because of their race. That's silly. That's a burden. I mean, I've got five or six people in my close family. I don't need a billion, and neither do you, okay? Strapped to your back with the stress of now everybody's problem is my problem. 
That hive mind is the noose. We're all a something. No. In order to be free with your fellow man, you have to be free from your man, fellow man. And we all need to hear that. I am offering you love, but not because you're black. We're two eyes in a heartbeat. I don't want to see you deceived. In addition, the devil has gotten a large percentage of black women to murder their own children, thinking they're liberated. You cannot destroy your own self more, or curse yourself more, than murdering your own innocent babies. That is the single easiest and greatest way for the devil to get you to curse your entire life and community, is to seduce you into thinking that you're liberated and cool and asserting your womanhood by murdering your own preborn children and the future of your own culture by betraying the essence of your beautiful femininity. And that is rampant in the black community. And Margaret Sanger, she called, the founder of Planned Parenthood called blacks weeds. That's crazy and racist. Please stop destroying your community. I'm offering you love. Because I want to see you free. Regardless of color, two eyes and a heartbeat. Choose individualism. All your leaders are scammers just like ours. All of them. Let it go. Be free. I uh, hope to see you all in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you.